It's the spring of 2014 and you're in your bedroom. You must ask you to calm down, pausing your search for fun. You're eating your food and your brother mentions a certain game. You ask him what it's about and you feel excited to get up and play it. 15 minutes later, you're filled with joy. So much fun, Bloom C5 is the best game ever. You play so much that it gets past your bedtime and your mum gets mad at you. You go to bed and you close your eyes and it's the 14th of June 2018 now. You're thrilled, you get on your computer to see it, it's finally here. You quickly ask your mum for her credit card and you get on to playing it. A new diff Wow, there's heroes and also new towers and everything is 3D. Wow, I'm never gonna stop playing this. All these new bosses, these new paragons, everything is awesome. You play a staggering 10 hours in that day, a new record for you. You go to bed feeling fulfilled with this new game. But five years later, you wake up and something's different. You yet again open BT6, but it's not the same. Yeah, I'm gonna have so much fun. Today's gonna be the best, you think? And so you jump into the game and start playing. Okay, we gotta do the meta, of course, but you feel something on the inside. You get up and down on the- oh yeah, of course, the Avatar of Wrath. Your heart feels weird. Oh, and let's not forget the MIB. The feeling continues. Oh, let's go play the Valerius. That's so much fun. The time ticks, but your joy is non-existent. Oh, the boss was just boring. Let's just play some challenges. You've played them all. Oh, well, I can go ahead and- and uh, and then you realize the new heroes don't interest you the beast handler is not fun the wizard paragon is just a huge gimmick the bosses have simply gotten boring you've played every single challenge you've won absolutely every single event you only have the things that you know and you're boredom now it's no secret that blooms has added a lot of features since it has released they've added 12 heroes seven paragons a bajillion maps bosses events and it's all not worth it so why is it even with all these new features that blooms has gotten so stale we all Remember that feeling of playing BT5 while still IT teacher was screaming at the class about taxes while you were sucked into your own world of balloon chipper sucking. Now you're playing balloon C5 on steroids but it's just boring maybe because you're not playing the game for the first time and discovering all the features but there's something more to this, something deeper, something darker. But first thing, every game makes you progress through certain events and certain scenarios to teach you how to play and what to do. But what do we have in Bloons? A tutorial that lets you quit on round 3, telling you to play as Quincy? Now, is this a problem? No, I absolutely love it, but the real problem is... It's just too simple, man. I mean, think about what Bloons really is. You beat him up, get monkey money, unlock hero, use the hero to beat him up, get monkey money, unlock hero, and beat him up, and uh, you, you get the point. But then you run out of heroes to be getting. And what's so different about these playthroughs? Will you go to a later around or you have some weird gimmick we get all the heroes monkey money basically becomes pointless leaving you with tons of monkey money to just either flex or noobs with or waste your life on a racist with now i'm not gonna lie ninja kiwi has added some sick stuff to the game though you don't have to use any of it you don't have a path ingrained that you need to follow for maximum satisfaction and the quests aren't even near the level that bt5 ones were now that's issue number one but issue number two is that blooms is getting easier. 2018, the release of the game, most of the tier 5s are trash and you can barely even beat the bad, not even a single soul has beaten chimps. 2019, okay, some towers are balanced and chimps has been beaten, that's pretty good. 2023, there's a megalodon that can one shot a Libanarius and you can beat chimps with 2 towers left, no issue with $100,000. I think you're getting my point here. One of the best things that Ninja Gui has done is adding bosses to the game. A giant enemy that increases the difficulty of the game is all it needs, but it's only on half the Week. What Ninja Kiwi could add that's gonna skyrocket the players is a harder difficulty. Now this might sound like a terrible idea to the random noob in level 72 that's watching this, but it's going to make the game absolutely joyful for the pros. Imagine all the content creators fighting to get that first win and all the pros wanting to be first. About a year ago, everything was in its best until Ultra Jason quit, some channels just fell off and a lot of YouTubers simply got bored. Right now the Bloons YouTube space is dominated by some giants like Cuba, TOT and ISAB and even they are struggling to stay on a good level. Duty is having his lowest views in the last three years. The memes are literally dead on YouTube and no one new is popping off. Blue Sea Battle 2 is kind of dead. So if we want something to revive the entire Bloons franchise, it has to start from Ninja Kiwi. Whether it be making more updates more frequently, a harder difficulty, updating battles to with some sick stuff, or adding better quests to BT6 that actually make the game kind of have a progression system. But you don't have to just go and point fingers to Ninja Kiwi, they are not that guilty. Making a game is not as simple as I'm making it sound. You can't just decide, oh, let's make a hard difficulty and make it in five minutes. No, you have to play test it with a bajillion people to make sure at least one strategy is viable. And even one strategy being viable would be too boring, which is why they need to make at least 10 strategies 
and make new towers that they're gonna be adding viable as well. When they add new bosses, hours and hours and days and weeks of thinking goes into the making of the idea. So Ninja Kiwi isn't as responsible for your boredom as you think.